In this example, we will study the combination formula. In part A, evaluate 7 choose 5. The formula for a combination is n choose r equals n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial, where n is the number of items in the selection pool and r is the number of items to be chosen. Rewrite the combination formula. Plug in n and r. Simplify. Expand 7 factorial. Stop expanding at 5 factorial since this will cancel out the 5 factorial in the denominator. Cancel the 5 factorials. The answer is 21. In part B, evaluate 3 choose 3. Write the combination formula. Plug in N and R. Simplify. Zero factorial equals one. The three factorials cancel, giving the answer one. In part C, evaluate four choose two. n over r in brackets is sometimes used instead of ncr to represent a combination. The formula remains the same. n choose r equals n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Rewrite the combination formula. Plug in n and r. Simplify. Expand 4 factorial. Stop expanding at 2 factorial since this will cancel out the 2 factorial in the denominator. Cancel the 2 factorials. The answer is 6. In part D, write 6 factorial over 4 factorial times 2 factorial as a combination. Write the combination formula. Rewrite the expression on the right side. By comparison with the combination formula, we can identify n equals 6 and r equals 2. The answer is 6 choose 2. In part E, write 5 factorial over 4 factorial as a combination. Write the combination formula. Rewrite the expression on the right side. By comparison with the combination formula, we can identify n equals 5, but we can't identify r. We need to get 4 factorial in the denominator. Using guess and check, we get 4 factorial when r equals 1. The answer is 5 choose 1.